to arrest people when they are standing up for their sovereign, inherent rights to protect their land, their water, and their relationship. Because of how land defenders like the Wet'suwet'en and many other land defenders across so-called Canada and across the globe, the biodiversity that is within our lands and territories would not be protected. And right now, that's 80% of the world's biodiversity. It is because of us, because of our rights, because of our culture, because of our identities as Indigenous people that those lands are protected. And it's the colonial project and the corporations that continue to get in the way. Enough is enough. Land back for the Wet'suwet'en. Land back for all of our people. Masi Cho, hi hi. Gathering and protesting is not enough. Each of you need to go home and you need to pick up your keyboard be a keyboard warrior, pick up a pen and a paper, and we have to send letters. We have to interrupt their system. Make it known that we stand in support of Wet'suwet'en and that we stand in support of Indigenous rights and that this has to stop. Pick up the phone.
The horrors of the residential schools were not an accident or poor judgment. They were a deliberate campaign to eradicate Indigenous people and make their lands available to the colonial project. Many of Canada's most recognizable institutions, such as the RCMP, were created for the express purpose of removing Indigenous people from their land. These atrocities continue to this day, both in their impacts and in modern violations of Indigenous sovereignty from coast to coast to coast. Whether it is Mi'kmaq lobster fishers or land defenders in Wet'suwet'en, all across Canada, Indigenous sovereignty continues to be violated by the Canadian colonial project. It did not end, it has not ended, and it must be stopped. In acknowledging the lands on which we stand, the people who lived on them, and the history of how they came to be incorporated into Canada, we do so with the solemn intent that these lands be returned.